My little ponies, my little ponies. Ah, uh, okay, let's keep this part. It is not my favorite. <laughs> Hey Twilight, I just want to thank y'all for helping me pick them apples. I tell you what, ooh-wee! No problem, Applejack. I'm surprised you didn't ask me sooner, you being a filthy earth pony and all. A unicorn would be a great deal more efficient at your job. Oh, hey, catch. Hey, if you don't mind me asking, can earth ponies even read? What? <coughs> oh, uh-oh. What does Celestia want from me this time? <coughs> Dear Twilight, I hope you're having a wonderful time down there in Ponyville, and not up here in the magical city of Canterlot. Just to give you a little taste of your former life of luxury, here's two tickets to the Grand Galloping Gala. Enjoy. Two tickets? I'll get out of this rat hole prison for a whole day! I don't know, Twilight. You know how Celestia can be. You know this is more than likely some kind of spaz setup. Please, Spike, don't crush my dreams. Oh my god! You got tickets to can or what? Tag me! Now cool them thighs, sugar pie. I was just about to ask the same thing. Besides, why do you even want to go? Well, I need to be emotionally validated by my childhood idols. But I've dreamt all my life of crashing one of their performances and making an ass of myself for attention. I thrive on attention! No way. I was going to scout my ticket to some poor halfway and use the money to fix up my farm. My granny needs a hip replacement. And during it, I will arm wrestle. <laughs> Girls, the second ticket is obviously for a date, and I am not going to take one of you morons. Well, hang on. Y'all can't even get a date. Yeah, and that means that you could take one of us. And that means that you could take me. Please notice me. I'm sure that I could just lower my standards and date a Pegasus or something. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got some royal protege courting to do. Well, I thought you hated the idea of dating, Twilight. That was back when dating was a detriment to real study, Spike. These days I'm studying friendship. Of all- <clears throat> ah, I've got the music in me! Yeah! Stop! Sweet crimson hot dogs! Lucky, lucky! These are for me! They will complete the prophecies. Yes, please! Uh... Spike! I will give you three blowjobs for those. What? You see, they're already bringing the pieces together. Soon the Day of Reckoning will be upon us. These are tickets to Canterlot. I was a unicorn. I've always lamented my low birth here in Ponyville. You know I'd give anything to really strut my stuff in front of some worthwhile ponies. Yes! Oh, it looks like you have tickets to Canterlot. And I suppose, oh this must sound silly, that you're probably looking for a date. Why? Do you have someone in mind for Twilight to go out with? Uh, no. I mean, me. Just as friends, though. Are you stalking me? Well, yes. But that isn't fair. You know how much attention I need. Why don't you take me as a date? Fluttershy probably won't even put out. Hey now, I'm just as good a friend as any. What are you talking about? Where'd you come from? You know y'all can't trust this one? She'll probably drop roofies in your drink when y'all's looking the other way. I know a guy what told me so. It was just that one time! Well, if you ask me, I think it's an absolute lie. Well, it's time to tell you I don't even tell you. I don't even tell you. I don't even want those tickets for us just to sell it. I just need a little bit of money for my granny's hips. I told you my granny's hips. Stop! I ate my wit and cheese and vomited up the cast of Battlestar Galactica. Shrimps. Alright. Listen up, every pony. Oh, but Twilight. Uh, no, listen carefully. Everyone, shut up. I don't think I'm ready. I don't know, Spike. I'm beginning to think that this is one of Celestia's little spaz errands after all. All she ever does is shovel crap into my life. Vengeance! Oh, hey, maybe I can mail a spider to Celestia. And I love your plan. Or, just a sandwich for the lady. And thank you. You like my plan? Look, the thing is, the only reason you keep getting dumped on by Celestia is because you respond so hilariously to it. So what exactly are you saying? Everything is my fault? Well, let me think. Uh, yeah. Well, up yours, Spike, and screw you.
You know, forget you. I'm sure there's some way I can ruin Celestia's life. Hey, try! I'm up here in the clouds! Man! Hey, give me those tickets! Yeah, sure, or else what? Are you gonna rain on me? I will do things to you, Dash. Unspeakable things. I have a medical background. I know what makes you tick. Fine. Jesus. Oh, yes. Twilight, what are you doing? So angry. Come on. That was no way for the Master Race to be seen. Come, let's pamper you. Oh, let's shave your legs. What? No, that's insane. Oh, wait just a moment. Spike, hello. Why don't you grab me those tickets before I grab the calipers? Charity, uh, you're just going to play the Spike, and I think that I'm just going to go ahead and leave. Hey, stop! I got paws and stuff. This here's a pie. That's a pie. A pie. Yeah, I even got pies on my head. So, Twilight, you want any pies? Never again! <laughs> well, what's the matter with pies? What's the matter with pies? What you thinking? Oh, God. Pies. And the afterlife. You could be headed for the serious job. Though you make the scene for the Fluttershy, what are these animals here for? for? Well, I thought if I showed you how good I was with animals, then you would remember that I wasn't crazy, and that I wouldn't put roofies in your drink like Rainbow Dash. I don't know about that. Oh. Well, maybe just one or two roofies. Get out of my house. Oh. No, you'll have to talk to Angel about that. He's in charge. Right? Right, Angel? Look, just make sure that you clean up after all the bird droppings. Those animals are disgusting and stupid, so you should just get Commence out the of equation here. when I complete the equation! Okay, now! Okay, now, throw her in the air. Uh, hey, now. Once again! Don't drop me. God damn it. <laughs> I've betrayed you to all the others! <laughs> The hell is the matter with you? What do you even think you're trying to hey, do? Hey, I thought you said that she had tickets to Canterline. She has them. I found me flowers. Me, me, me. You found me. I found these tickets. Me, me, me. Oh Jesus. Me, me. Spike. Me, me. Me, me. Me, me. Me, me. I wish you wouldn't distort the laws of time on space. Shut up! They're my powers to abuse. Now lock everything. <sighs> oh my god, it's you schmucks again! Why won't you go and just leave me alone for ten minutes so I can think up some diabolical spell to cast to make everyone in this town disappear? <laughs> I mean, you guys are such dicks! Aw, oh, listen, Twy, y'all don't have to kill everyone in fire. I say we call her bluff. She does not have the nerve. Twilight, sometimes, even though you want to kill everyone, you have to know that killing just ain't the answer. It's one of the pure and simple things in life. It's true, Twilight. It's true. I've made that same mistake too many times. Mistake? We've all murdered someone once or twice without thinking. What about those tickets? Yes, yeah. Oh, man. I still want those. I have to get back at Celestia somehow. Oh, here's an idea. Spike? Take a letter. Dear Princess Celestia, Today my friends taught me the most interesting thing about Oogenesis. So as you can imagine, it's going to be an extremely long and boring mail. However, this letter is going to be full of important information that you need to read, so you better not skip any of it. By the way, here's your stupid tickets back. Okay, send it. Uh, Twi, don't you think that she might gouge out your eyes? 
Screw consequences. Whatever she does can't be worse than those two tickets. I don't know, it just seems plumb reckless of you to not assume she's gonna do something nasty. Uh. Dear Twilight, I'm going to gouge out your eyes. Also, here's six more tickets. Shit! 